Okay, in this video we are going to discuss how to work with envelope distort options in Illustrator so that we can edit our text. There are two main options um, for envelope distort. We can distort with warp or we can distort with mesh. So what you would do is you would type your word by clicking on the type tool, clicking once and letting go. And then you can resize this with the selection tool, whatever size you would like. So first let's do warp. So for warp, all I'm gonna do is while this is selected, there's a green box around it. I'm gonna go up to the top menu and I'm gonna find this little, this little arc. And in the arrow, it'll say warp options. So I can choose arc, arc lower, arch, flag, and then I can adjust how much it warps. So there's a lot of options. You want to stay kind of close to the middle because if you distort it too much it becomes really hard to read. So you want to stay kind of close to the middle of these three um, options and make sure preview is checked so you can see what it looks like. So this is warp. So right now this, this word life is warped. I'm going to click OK. Now let's make mesh. If I go to my type tool and I click and let go and I type life and then I move it so you can see it. It'll have a box around it. It is selected. I can go up to the top. Instead of clicking make envelope with this warp arc, I can click on the arrow and change it to make with mesh. And then it asks me how many mesh points I want. So three rows and three columns will put these tic-tac-toe-like grid on top of it. Now we'll click OK. Make this bigger so you can see. So I have a grid here. So I can now edit any of these anchor points in the intersections of any of these lines. These are anchor points. And I can now edit and move any of these anchor points. Anchor points, as we know, selected with the direct selection tool which is the white arrow so I will choose the direct selection tool and then I will click on the point that I want to open to select it and then it will allow me to move so you have to click on it and then click to move it so click on it and then click to move it so click and drag and you can drag these points um, where you would like them to go and that way you can warp the words so that the words fit in your object. Now if you take a point and you go way over, it's going to make the word not make sense. So you want to stay, you can hit control Z, you want to stay in the, in the lines. So don't cross over any of the other boxes, but you can change these points just a little bit and then you can move your words to fit where you would like them to fit in your space. Now let's say I want to change the way that I have typed the word or the color. If I select it with the selection tool on the properties panel on the right you're going to see at the top it says envelope mesh as the object type if I have edit envelope selected, it allows me to select the envelope, which is all these little points, and edit those. If I have edit contents selected, which is the star, I can now get my text line back. And if I double left click, I can go back in and I can edit my text. And I can change it to say something else. And it will put it in those same mesh points. Now everything else on my screen is grayed out because it went into isolation mode so that this is the only thing I can see. But you can also change your font. If you didn't like the way it looked in that font and you want to change your font, you can change your font. You can change your colors. Um, all of that stuff can be changed when you are in the edit contents section. Okay. I'm just going to click back on edit envelope and then on the top I need to go back one level 
um, and back to my regular document. And there it is. If I want to resize this, I can still resize it. I can still rotate it by covering over the edges. And I can see my word there, right? So life is in warp over here. So if I wanted to edit the word life, I would select it with the selection tool. And then I could resize it. Or I can use the direct selection tool to select and edit the contents. You can even use the handlebars and edit the handlebars for the curves. So you can do that, or you can use the selection tool, select the word, and you can go back over and edit the contents. And I can change the word by double clicking and then I can change, type a new word and the contents will go in the same thing. And then you go back one level and back one level. So you have some options for envelope distort and how you can edit those and release those. Okay, so enjoy, experiment with different options. Remember you also have the option to create outlines which will separate your letters as individual letters. Um, and so the way you would do create outlines is separate because it will make it not just a word that is grouped together, it'll, it'll ungroup every single letter. So if you wanted to do that, you would type your word and then you would right click, create outlines, right click, ungroup, click off of it, and then you can resize and redo each individual letter. Let's make the O a little smaller. So you also have that option. So then you can also recolor them individually if you want. But once you have created outlines, you cannot change the font or the, the typing. So you'd have to start over if you um, didn't like the way you spelled something. Okay, so there's some options. We have mesh, warp, and create outlines.